Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Baited Podcast. And, oh, I've forgotten what to say, it's been so fucking long. I'm your host, Colossal is Crazy. And we're joined here once again by DJ Killer Keemstar. It's Keemstar, f*** you, you clown. Very special guest for you today. It's been a long time coming. Tommy C. I just want to let everybody know that I am not taking a paycheck. I'm doing this and I'm supporting Keem on this particular one because I am tired of phony sex allegations. He's definitely not taking a paycheck because I'm not paying you. He's just a guest. <laughs> He's not come back as a host, but it's uh, it's good to have you back. This is very surreal for me. It's been so long. It's been like three years. The main reason that, you know, I, I think we kind of all got here together is uh, to really just talk about I'm Alex. Um, I've been a YouTuber for 10 years, okay? And I have watched YouTubers go through the ranks. You know, usually they're very talented or they have a certain niche or they get on, you know, a a new wave that they create. They create this new wave uh, that sparks, you know, a following online. I'm Alex has done none of this. I'm Alex has bounced from friend to friend to friend, sucking the cloud out of them, kind of like a, 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 an e-girl, right? In the Call of Duty scene back in the day, right? These girls, they would be hot as hell, probably about 10 followers on Twitter, but then they would date a pro and then date another pro and they would just, I'd see him suck the fans from each one of these guys. And now we see it now with uh, the Fortnite pros. You know, there's a couple of those girls going around. I'm not going to name any names, but I'm pretty sure you guys heard of some breakups recently. Um, You know, so this is a thing, right? These girls go around and they just suck the goddamn clout from all these guys. Well, I'm Alex has done that with a bunch of dudes in this community, and that is part of the reason why he is as big as he is today. Normally, I would agree with you, Keem, um, or disagree with you, actually, but there was an incident with me and Alex recently. You know, I always took his, uh, what you called social climbing, his networking, and there's nothing wrong with networking. There's nothing wrong with getting people to move up on the ranks. I I wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, I had a deal with Alex that if he screwed up again, um, that I would bring it to his attention as a friend. And I sent him a DM when he wrote this DM about um, uh, Slazlo. He had said that I can't be friends with somebody who took advantage of a 14-year-old girl. Basically, there was this girl, Fizzy Pop. I think she's uh, 18 now. And she called out this Australian YouTuber with just over a million followers, I believe, Slazo. It was inferred that he had at some point raped this girl. It's rape time. That was it's rape yeah. He time. said it's rape time, and then she responded. She responded by saying no, and he yeah. goes, "Well, uh, it's not considered rape if you like it or something." She okay, kind like, of made it out to seem that Slazo was this predatory person, an abuser. Just you know, drama alert, right? When we covered the story about you know all this stuff, I reached out to Slazo, and I read this on drama alert when I covered the story initially, which was back on June 11th, and he told me in the DMs, he said. Che and I have resolved this whole thing uh, between ourselves a few times now, and I'm not sure what to do anymore. I've apologized to her multiple uh, occasions. We met in person, and I tried to put this to bed there, during which she said that uh, she could tell that I changed for the better and even mentioned getting back together again if she and her current boyfriend didn't work out, which I found weird. That's what he told me the day that this all came out. So I read his you know, response and drama, but that was it. That's all he said until he came out with a video. Important to note that there were several YouTubers that jumped the gun oh, yeah. very early oh, yeah. on, which later transpired, of course, they had known for quite some time. There were people that day replying to her tweet, automatically assuming that he was guilty of these things without even seeing his response. People were saying, no, 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 he's guilty, he's guilty, he's guilty. Let's not wait for his response. And I was just urging, like, come on, you've got to wait for his fucking response here at least. You've got to hear his side of the story. It's not fair to just take her side automatically. Now, in fairness, he did wait a very long time Cloud, for her let me, response. Let me, let me stop to, you for to a make minute, his response, all right? Go on. All these people that were talking about it, they knew Slazo, okay? Just to put it in perspective, I didn't even know who Slazo was before this story came out. I jumped in his DMs and asked him about it. None of these other people did. Nobody talked to him. They were just like, yep, he's a rapist. Alex apparently lived with Slazo and, uh, for a month. Oh, really? 
and uh, did content together. I mean, I, I, I would what? Hope, I would hope. I didn't that, know yeah, that. Absolutely. No, he did. He lived. There's, there's tons he of content. He lived with this guy did, for a uh, month. He did. Um, he did uh, content with uh, Leon Lush. Uh, a lot of stuff. And I, I don't think. I, I mean, I don't know how easy he was to contact. He's been very easy for me to contact personally. I've spoke to him. We, we did the cameras the whole nine. Uh, but I, I, it, it did. It does seem to me. At, at some level, maybe not for all those YouTubers, like a collaborative effort, maybe to shut this guy down. The accusations are so thin. I mean, one of the things that kind of like, I was afraid to go one way or another on it. And then when I saw, when I saw it's rape time, look, I was 17 once. I said crazy to my girlfriend and she was, she may, I, I don't know what context it, it's rape time's in. It could be, I don't know, the kids are fooling around. It could be, well, it could be fucking rape time for all I know. And it, it just, it just, that statement itself seems so silly. And it was being presented to us as this guy's a predator as it turns out they were joking around it was a joke alex admit they were jokes so i mean the fact that this happened and they didn't go out of their way to reach that they went to twitter first i think says a lot so what happened because i mean i i did watch kavas's video kavias made a great video did on fantastic. This, exposing i'm alex right but so what happened like how many times was Alex, I'm Alex, pushing this narrative that Slaza was, you know, like a rapist or whatever? I would certainly say he was one of the biggest defenders of this girl rather than a straight up attacker of Slazo. But Well, um, they all came out and I they guess... said that he was brave. You're so brave. You're brave. If you're saying he's, she's brave, you're giving legitimacy to the accusation. And you know, and now when 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 it when it turned on its head, well, I didn't accuse him of everything. Then, well, you, you can't be pra brave. She's accusing him of sexual assault. That's a serious allegation. It's not brave to make a false sexual assault allegation, as we all can agree on. No, so Alex, Alex straight out came and said, uh, "Yeah, I'm not going to be friends with him anymore because he was a controlling boyfriend or some." Right? Yeah, and remember, there's two years between these two. So when she was 14, he was 16. When she was 15, he was 17. And they're leaving that context out of it, too. This is all a high school thing. Both these people, I think she just turned 18. I'm not 100% sure. But he is a legal adult right now. And that, that context is being left out of it. Keep, we keep on seeing the number 14-year-old girl, for which her girl was between, is currently between the ages of 17 and 18. I don't know about you guys, but I wasn't the best boyfriend at 15, 16 years old. I was kind of a you know, I had to learn to, 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 to get right. And we're holding this kid to a, an adult standard retroactively. And it just seems like... The whole crew, Blue Stank, Alex, King Annie, they look stupid by jumping on the train initially. So now they're like, well, we don't like him anyway. Screw him. Uh, he was a controlling boyfriend. He admitted to that. That's unbelievable. Dude, how many, how many times has I'm Alex backstabbed a friend? Like literally backstabbed a friend. Like a friend gets in trouble. A friend gets exposed for something. And then he's like... The, the one leading the charge. Definitely parallels between this story and what occurred with Zaptai several years ago now. Although in that situation, I think he was more in the right since a lot of these allegations turned out to be very true. Well, it, it is parallel. I mean, I interviewed Alex during that whole thing on my yeah. show. And uh, I mean, it was, it was a similar situation. But would you say like, it was fair and Zaptai was the bad guy in that situation? I, I, Zaptai was certainly the bad guy in that situation. Yeah. But not all the evidence was out as of that point. I'm Alex. I'm Alex went on Zaptai's podcast to expose him. He went on his own podcast, Zaptai's podcast, to expose Zaptai who wasn't there, right? And then he filled in the spot for Zaptai when Zaptai's career was over, took his role over on the podcast, stole all the clout from that, and then quit the podcast. Bro, his whole, this guy's whole history online is literally sucking clout from other people. I didn't realize he joined the podcast. Yeah, that was the plan. Really? That was the plan. It never worked out because the, the episode was such a failure. Everybody ended up looking really stupid. I know uh, Bionic Pig. I know um, Elvis have disavowed that no. uh, episode. They did it on Dead on Dave's cast. Um, they disavowed it completely. I don't know what their relationships now. I can't speak on that. But that was the plan to go forward for him to take it. That's true. But let, let's put this in perspective. Um, uh, there was a lot of stuff going on. That Zaptai was guilty. There's no doubt about it. But they all. But but the principle's the same. They had information prior, just like clowns. For said. sure, it was a planned event. Whether they contacted Slazo beforehand, I have no idea. Perhaps they didn't, perhaps they did. But they knew this tweet was going to go live. I'm sure they were sitting there waiting for the tweet to go live. Yeah, um, I just want to put this in perspective, though, okay? Let's say that I do something really f***ed up, right? And my career is over with. I'm done for. I did something really f***ed up, 100% guilty. And then Clown 
goes on mom's basement, right, with, with Faze Banks, <laughs> right? And he is leading the charge of this and is like, yeah, Keemstar is a piece of, he's done for, I want nothing to do with I him, right? Alex, a little bit of slack on this. One of the girls that Zaptai was talking to was his girlfriend. And I think that was partly motivated by revenge. You would know something about that, Keem. There was a revenge element to it as well that might have been legitimate. He stole his friend's job. He destroyed him. Like, obviously, he deserved to be destroyed. But he led the charge in destroying him and then stole his fucking job. And this was his friend. They were actual friends. We're not talking about internet friends. They were friends. Oh, absolutely. And we've seen it repeated again. And I, I... I sent him a DM when I saw the 14-year-old girl tweet, and uh, I, I'll, I'll freaking read it to you if, if you want. I mean, it's really quick to the point. I mean, Alex had, had visited me in London. Um, I, I've always defended him against Keem's accusations of social climbing, and I sent him this um, tweet. I said, look, I'm coming to you as a friend. You have to get out in front of this. This is wrong. You made it seem like an adult is dating a child. That's not right. And his response was, that's not what I'm doing. He unfollowed me, absolutely everybody else, uh, as a stunt, so I couldn't complain that he just unfollowed me over it, and then slowly refollowed everybody back but me. <laughs> I literally have the language in front of me now. I'm telling you as a friend, this sweet is stone evil. You need to get out in front of us and tell people it is wrong. He was 16 at the time. You made it look like he was dating a teenager. This is not me calling you out. This is help. Take care. That's what I told him. I didn't want it to get any further than that. If he got out in front of it and said, look, that was wrong, deleted the tweet, I didn't mean in that context, that's all I would say. But his response was like, fuck you. That's the way I took it. And another thing that I'm Alex did is, do you remember that Vox reporter that uh, tr- tried to call out Steven Crowder? Yeah. Guess who defended him? I'm Alex. I'm Alex came out and said that Steven Crowder should get his channel taken down or whatever. Like he came out to defend him. I don't know if those were the exact words. The list be queer was the exact words. List be queer. All right. So was that also because I'm Alex is a list be queer? <laughs> You can't say that, Cloud. You know, and he, and he also, this is a guy that made a video defending PewDiePie saying, hey, I say the N-word all the time in private. He did? It's, it's no he problem at all. <laughs> Bro, do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Wherever the community goes, if the community all starts hating PewDiePie one day, he would hate PewDiePie, right? If the community starts loving PewDiePie, he loves PewDiePie. Like, dude, this guy is a flip-flopping piece of... I hate him. He's not a real person. He's not a real person with real opinions and real thoughts. Boogie does the same thing. Always goes with the popular vote, and he'll retract his opinion in a heartbeat. Well, his heart beats pretty fucking fast, to be honest. <laughs> Leave, yeah, leave Boogie is. alone. Boogie's gone through. Yeah, a really I know, but right still, the Boogie point alone. stands. I just wish that I'm Alex would upload a video and just say, "Hey guys, like I'm kind of a fraud, right? Like I just, I'm not a real person. I just, you know, I put an act up online and try to act like you know I'm perfect, and and I'm just not. Like I'm just a really bad person that's just trying to win approval because you know my early days before I was a YouTuber, I was just a loser, and you know I dreamed one day of being something and the best way to do that would sucking people's you know sucking clout from other people and you know build climbing up the ladder of youtube and now i'm a someone and i feel special but you know this whole like presence that i put out that i'm like so much better than everyone else is just me just trying to hide the fact that i'm actually a fucking loser i if you make that video all right, Alex, I will forgive you for all your sins. I don't think that. I somehow don't think that's going to happen. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex. And by the way, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> the way you said it so nicely, I think yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but are you making fun of his lisp? Um, that's horrible, clown. Uh, that's terrible. My bad. I'm Alex could take that clip right and call you out. I mean, that's that's what he called Steven Crowder out for. He'll he'll say what you just said right there is totally fine, right? He'll say that. I know he'll say that. Oh, I'm not mad at Clown. Clown can make those jokes. But Steven Crowder can't? Do you understand you're not a real person with real opinions and real thoughts? You're a fucking fraud. He gets shit wrong every single fucking video. Every single I remember video. a Philip DeFranco video where it was like, what the f*** are you talking about? Things that don't even exist. I mean, it's just a load of rubbish. One time, me and Clown... We're just in a, a private Skype call. We're just chatting it up about normal things. And we noticed that I'm Alex is tweeting frantically about him and his best friend Pyro at some, f- what was it? Some gaming event? I think it was in an insomnia event. 
Insomnia event, if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure. Dude, it was like 10 tweets in the span of like two hours, right? Me and Pyro are here. Me and Pyro are doing this. Me and Pyro. Dude, he was just milking <laughs> Pyro to death. It was ridiculous. It was like literally he was just sucking every little bit of cloud he could get from Pyro, right? As soon as the event's over, no more tweets about Pyro. No more tweets about him and his best friend Pyro. He already sucked the cloud off of him, and now he's moved on to someone else. It's This guy is fucking unbelievable. And I know if you're an I'm Alex fan, you don't see it. And you're like, oh, I hate Keemstar, blah, blah. I get it. I totally get it, right? What I'm about to say seems like a tactic that people do all the time, but what I'm saying is accurate, all right? I'm Alex fans are not... 18 years old. They're not 20 years old. They're not 16 years old. They're little kids. All right. They're little kids. And this is how you get away with this. This is why there's a J station, right? Everyone's looking oh, at J station's channel. Like, how does this exist? How does he have fans? They're kids. They're kids. Same thing with Jake Paul. All right. How does he have an audience? So after all these scandals over and over again, kids all right kid fans and this is how i'm alex has survived and gotten away with just blatantly lying like sometimes it it's just so known what he's saying isn't true and he's clearly doing it for clickbait and in other cases i just think he hasn't done research and he doesn't know i think that's the main factor the lack of research he's pumping out these videos he's not getting the research done and he's getting things wrong during the james charles thing right he put out a video saying that it's still he was monetized guilty. it's still it up wasn't it's still like, monetized as we speak he wasn't saying that hey guys uh toddy is saying this about james charles he was saying that james charles is guilty he was saying that he did, in fact, sexually harass this raper or, or this waiter, excuse me, and that, you know, the waiter was straight and he forced. Dude, he was just saying it like he was there. He's telling his audience the story like he was fucking there and he knows this as fact. All right. That is so irresponsible. And look, part of the reason I'm just going to be totally honest with you. Part of the reason why I hate this motherfucker is because three years ago, he was in a, a discord with me where for about 45 minutes when I was talking about beta ending and he took what I said and completely lied about the conversation. He said stuff that I never said. He invented these theories on why I was mad about beta, something about clown not coming to my Christmas party, which I may have mentioned, but in his video where he talks about it, he acts like it was one of the main points. Like I was going on and on that I was hurt that clown wouldn't come to my Christmas party. Like it, this was just exaggerated and lies, all right? And when I see this on YouTube, this needs to end, especially when you're a commentator, when you're out there judging other people you have to do it fairly and if you get something wrong you got to acknowledge that you're wrong and so many fucking commentators do not do this and i'm alex one of the biggest ones right does not do this so what do you think is going to happen in the future do you think the people that watch i'm alex that want to be a commentator do you think they're going to follow the rules no they're going to do exactly what they seen other people do you know it's one right? thing if he's screwing up some drama thing or something with phil the franco or or a, a banks and Alyssa breaking up it's another completely when we're talking about sexual assault allegations and that's the real problem i don't care when these kids screw up a stupid story it doesn't mean it's all entertainment at the end of the day but my and, and the reason i'm here right now is is this has to stop match what it is set a standard of 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 really spreading um create uh, really loose not not full context um weird sex allegations and it, it seems like ever since that happened in early 2019 it's just it keeps repeating itself we saw it with toddy we saw it with alex and we're seeing it again with this kid um and it's just so irresponsible and these kids are so unapologetic about it even when they're approached privately it's just it, it's mind-boggling absolutely if you're gonna cover something so impactful and that has major allegations absolute responsibility to take your time Get everything right, because there are serious ramifications and consequences if you don't. Yeah, you know, and Alex, I know you're listening to this right now. I came to you as a friend. I really did. I'm really, really disappointed. You know, I, like, I, like, you made me work with Keemstar. I mean, seriously, because this has got to stop. And unfortunately, you're at the top of the heap and you take charge. So this has got to end. And I hope if, if something happens to you, Alex, I hope people look at what happened. And if they're going to go on with a, some crazy allegation... That they're gonna say, hey, I don't want to do it. I don't want. I don't want what happened to I am Alex 
to happen to me. And that's why I'm here. And I just want you to know that. Do you think I want to work with Tommy? No. Absolutely. I'm very happy that this happened. Let me finish, clown. <laughs> All right. But All right. at the end of the day, I hate you more. I really, really hate you more. I swear to God, Alex, I see right through you, right? This whole act, this whole persona that you put online, like you're some fucking good guy and you're the moral compass. I see right through it. I see right down to your fucking bones. Dude, you have you have other YouTubers fooled. I talk to some YouTubers and they tell me, oh yeah, I like Alex, he's my friend. And I'm losing my mind because some of these people are smart, but they don't see it. But I see you, motherfucker. I see right through you to your goddamn core. I see right to your core. I see you can't fucking hide. You can make memes, you can make jokes, and we can make memes, and we can make jokes back, but I want you to know, man to whatever the fuck you are, I see you. I've had calls with I'm Alex privately where I brought up some of the stuff before. In particular, for example, the pyrocynical stuff. Clown, clown, and his clown, defense the only, was... clown, no, stop right now, clown, stop it right now. The only reason why you're even friends with this kid is because he started sucking your he was sucking your dick so fucking hard bro this is what he does he fucking goes to people that are more popular than him and he kisses their so hard so fucking hard oh i fucking love you clown you're the i don't even best. deny da, 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 that he was kissing that. my ass at one point in time thank you but does he kiss your ass now does he kiss, kiss, kiss your ass now does he kiss your ass now no he fucking doesn't exactly because he has 1.6 million subscribers <laughs> They don't see it. I see you. I see right through you. I've seen it for fucking years. And that's why I keep clowning at you. And I'm going to keep clowning you for another fucking 10 years. And I don't care if you fucking are still here 10 years. I'm going to be here 10 years after you, motherfucker. I will be in here on Drumler to report the ending of your fucking career. I will live to 200 to do it. I don't give a fuck. I see through you and your day is coming. He's a weasel. I cannot stand people that fucking lie and manipulate to their goddamn audience and just use them as a fucking pawn and then you use them like a fucking ATM. Bro, this stupid shit with your fucking lazy merch where it says internet sensation. That's all it is. You put no effort into that shit. You sell it out but then you criticize every other fucking YouTuber that sells merch. You, How many videos do you have on fucking Zoella or anyone else is saying, oh, they were trying to sell this merch and they're trying to use their fan. How many fucking videos? You do the same fucking thing, you goddamn fucking hypocrite dude you piss me off there's nothing wrong with doing it but don't call other people out for selling fucking merch when you do the same fucking thing all right and it's just lazy it's fucking lazy and then you have the nerve to tell people oh i don't care about money oh i don't give i don't care about money it's not about the money how many fucking mid rolls do you put in your videos like you do so much lazy just get me some money today fucking content it's unbelievable you try you stretch your videos out to the 10 minute mark right where you just tell like you you could say some simple thing like um someone uploaded a video and you'd be like well yeah they did they um, hit the button and um, they recorded it and um, well, then they edited it and then they uploaded it. You'll fucking, you'll drag that shit out just to hit the 10 minute mark. Your content's so fucking boring and only kids that don't have the mental capacity to really know what entertainment is fucking watch it. That's, that's, that's what it boils down to. Like I just, you have no fucking value. You have no talent. Zero fucking talent. You are zero entertaining and you don't z deserve at all to be where you are at in this community. The only reason why you're here is because you have developed friendships with other people from kissing their... But the minute you are bigger than them... You drop them. Where are your friends fucking two years ago? Your YouTube friends. They don't exist. They a year don't ago, exist. I would have completely argued with Keem. I mean, he came and visited me in London. He, he was quite nice. I met Mimulus and, and Blues Dank and every, it, was, it was cool. You know, it was cool to see them. I, I'm 40 years old. I'm what the hell would they want to hang out with me for? And, uh, you know, I would have argued with you. But when I came to him and really met, like, this has got to stop. You got it. You got to do this. And I, I was doing it for him. I was doing it for him. And then it was just like, yeah, I, I can't even argue with him anymore. It, 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 it does really feel that way. I mean, I, I, I only wanted the best for him. I don't see. I'm a little different than Keem. I, I don't care how you make you make your money. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to sit there and uh, like go over your content with a with a magnifying glass. If you, if you want to hustle, if you want to get in there, you know, I'm told from my personal friends, he's he's very professional offline. He really, you know, he really works hard. But then he presents this image that you know he's 
some like 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 a moral compass and he doesn't care about the money. Of course he does. Of course he cares about the money. He's a professional YouTuber. If I'm Alex had 200 million subscribers, he would unfriend PewDiePie. He would unfriend <laughs> PewDiePie. He would. He would. He would. Uh, he would. Jesus. He'd be looking for a guy with a billion subs. Oh, uh, you're the best. I love you. You know, like, this is who this guy is. I mean, that is the impression that I got when I was friends with him, quote unquote. Uh, he was certainly sucking my d when I called him privately and said, yeah, you know, you were sucking my d at the time. And he's like, yeah, but that's because I was a huge fan. So what? You're not anymore? If you're an I'm Alex fan, please understand you're a fan of a fucking phony, a fraud. And please just pay attention. Open your eyes and look for it. Don't take my word for it. Don't take these rants of anger for it. Because I, I'm holding a personal grudge that he lied about me, right? That's why I focused and paid attention to every little fucking thing this kid did for I, I would years. like to know also what he specifically lied about. Just for the podcast. Oh, 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 for, oh, about what he lied about? Yeah. With the video? Yeah. Okay, okay. Three years ago, beta ended. Um... Basically, what happened was, is I tweeted out, Clown wants more money because, Clown, you wanted to do a podcast on our splits, right? Yeah, even split. Yeah. Okay. You wanted to do an even split. I just got done being betrayed by Leafy and Grade, and I felt like this was another betrayal. I had 1.8 million subscribers. Every single episode we did on Bait It, I promote it from drama alert to drive the traffic over here to make this show a success clown doesn't upload videos uh in case you didn't know he just doesn't tommy had like no subscribers bait it literally created his career so he couldn't really help i mean he was promoting but he was promoting from fans that already came from me in the first place so to me it felt like i was putting the fuel in this car to fucking drive and not only was I not saying like, okay, guys, give me 90% of the show. No, I was only asking for 50. Clown got 30 because he had 200K subs. And Tommy, um, you know, I don't even know. You had like 2,000 subs. God, it wasn't started. even that. It was like 1,000. Well, he, he got 20%. Yeah, so I good. thought it was more than generous. So when Clown comes to me and says, I want equal shares, I felt like I wasn't being respected. And they didn't appreciate what I was doing for the show. I was hurt by this shit. Like, seriously hurt. I told Clown, I got to hang up because I'm mad. Because now he wants to have this debate on the show, which would have been really entertaining. But it was a lose-lose situation. And it goes back to kids, okay? Kids don't understand business. They don't want to know They it. think... They think, oh, there's a podcast. Everyone should have equal shares, right? Like they, they're, you know, I'm sorry, but that's the way they think, right? Anyhow, clown went to bed. I went to call him back after I cooled off. He wasn't there. So I started running the goddamn numbers. Again, I'm good with business. I start running the numbers. I take our last month and how much money we made. And I project it, how much money we'd make in a year. Which and I think clown, was an exaggeration at the time. Well, that's obviously. fine. But it's, I based it on facts, right? So, well. I took that and said, okay, we're going to make X amount of dollars a year. That means Clown is asking pretty much for a $5,000 a year raise, right? That was the way you framed it in the call. 3% was $5,000. Like, no, 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 no. Incorrect. In, in we'll get to that, though. So I tweeted out uh, something like, I'm, I'm, I'm done with beta. Clown wants more money. You know, Clown's going to want it, is asking basically for another $5,000 a year or something. Uh, Tommy jumps in my DMs. He's like, what's going on? Da, 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 da. I explained to Tommy that, you know, clown wants more money. He wants equal shares. We jump into a Skype call. We're looking for clown at this point. Cause clown went to bed. I didn't know that. And we're looking for clown to talk. Well, I did say now, I was going to bed now that Tommy's online. So me, Tommy, uh, jump on clowns discord looking for clown. Well, I'm Alex is in there, right? So I'm ranting and raving and I'm just saying basically what I just told you guys that I feel betrayed and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Clown's basically asking for another five grand a year because he wants equal shares. And I don't know if I mentioned the the Christmas party tweet or not. I can't remember. This happened three years ago. But there's no way, there's absolutely no way that I was ranting and raving in this 45-minute Discord call about Clown not coming to my Christmas party. All right? I may have mentioned it, but there's no way that I was going on and on about it. That's impossible. And I think Tommy could even back well, me up I, on I, that. Well, I, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. You did mention it. I don't, I don't remember. I remember you being very cool, calm, and collected. All right? But I did watch his, Alex's video. I don't know if he's lying about that. I think he's talking about his impression. And his impression doesn't mean it has to be true. But I, I don't remember that. I, I will say this. I don't remember that being the crux of the conversation. I was there. Tro, Tro was there. Was it not simply a case of exaggeration combined with misinterpretation rather than a straight up lie? 
I, do, I, I, I consider it a flat out lie. I consider I it think, a flat I don't out think lie. He, I don't think he balls out why. loud in this. Okay? I don't think he balls out loud I can't remember every little detail of that situation because it happened three years ago. I can't, rem- I can't say he lied about this exactly. I can't say that. But what I do know, it, and, I, and I'll never forget this, is that we had that conversation. It was about 45 minutes. It wasn't an interview. All right. I wasn't being interviewed for an I'm Alex video. You're venting. You're venting in a call. It was just, I was yeah. venting. It was a private conversation. And then he took that conversation and made a video. And that video did not represent the conversation we had. All right. And I can't give you details on it because I don't remember. But I remember in that moment knowing that this guy is a fucking snake. He's a liar. He misrepresented what was said. He manipulated it to try to help clown, which he was sucking his dick at the time. And I go, I, f- from that, this day on, I will never forget this fucking betrayal. I'll never forget that this person's a liar and he's dishonest. And I'm going to one day, one day, prove to his fans who he really is. All right? That is the fucking promise I made myself on that fucking day. And I've hated him ever since. And, dude, since then, there's been so many fucking scenarios that back up exactly how I felt that day. So many times where... He fucking was lazy with reporting or just flat out fucking lied or sucked people for clout. Everything I felt in that fucking moment three years ago has been backed up every single fucking week from I'm Alex himself uh, through this whole fucking thing, right? So again, I can't re- go to the detail. I can't say he lied about this exact thing, but I remember how I I, I in, in fairness, I don't believe he bowls out lied. I think that's the way he took it in fairness to him. Right. In fact, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm like, look, look, you, you may have felt that way and you may. I, I think it, I think it really is interpretation. I'm not going to bury him on that one. He also had witnesses in there. Some of those witnesses are my close friends that may. And it's been so long ago. I don't know if the, I don't want to contradict myself. Keemstar comes in ranting and raving. They don't about like clown. Keemstar. About yeah. clown. Exactly. I mean, so they're discord. going to take they're going to take my side. Thank yeah, you. but some of these guys are my friends. Like Tro was there, and yeah, YouTuber I don't, was there, I don't have you know. a reason to believe that they were lying. But it's important to remember that, even though I'm grateful for it, that they might have a bias going into it. I, I wish, I wish this happened yesterday, so I could say exactly what was wrong. But I just, I don't remember. I don't remember either. I don't rem, I don't fucking remember, and that's what really pisses me off more than anything because. You know, I mean, that's what I need really to explain myself. Hey, I'd never said this or he's adding this. I that what that's you were telling everybody to shut up. I do remember that. And maybe that's (laughs) that's just Keemstar. That's what he does. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So maybe they took the the other thing is a lot of people didn't know you like that. Then those are all up and coming YouTubers. Some of them, you know, went on to be very, very successful. So, I I mean, no, I I, look, I I remember you, you state in your case. And if you remember at the time. Uh, yeah, I, I had no problem with twenty percent, and I want to make sure that's now that's a hundred percent clear. Uh. Oh, 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 oh! This was one of the things. This was one of the things. I do remember this. Okay, I went in and explained the five thousand dollars, saying that clown wanted equal shares. But when I'm Alex made the video, he made it seem like I was trying to say it was five thousand dollars and not explain that it was equal shares in that Discord, which is a fucking flat out fucking lie. He was told in that Discord that Clown wanted equal shares. He was told in that goddamn Discord. That's what it was. You were framing it as, this guy wants $5,000, not according to I'm Alex and a few others who told me afterwards, giving the context that it was the 3% that I was asking for. Mathematics aside, I don't still don't believe to this day that 3% extra is going to give you 5000 net a year. I mean, the well, mathematics I just can don't... Pull up that the just doesn't add numbers. up to me. But I can despite... pull up the numbers right now. I can go in the fucking analytics. I can get the date of December fucking 2016. December 11th. Nope. December 11th. December 11th. Well, okay, then it would have been November. I'll get the month of November, November, 2016. So if we upload seven videos in that month and then zero in the next, to form an estimated prediction of what we will acquire several years from now, then obviously that is not going to be accurate. But Why? point aside. Why? Are you insane? Because Dude, you're only per- basing it on our most popular month. I'm basing it our on the most last popular month. month. We're a growing it doesn't show. Mean We're anything. a growing The podcast. mathematics don't add up. Yes, we're growing. We're growing. I'm sorry, but okay. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, clown. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's just let me ask you. Okay, so um, let's say um maybe like your first video, second video, um that month right there was that your biggest month ever? Uh, no. 
Exactly! Because as a channel is older, and if you make more content, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So you mean to tell me- The month I uploaded my last video wasn't my biggest month either, so the argument doesn't add up. But it's not my fault you're dying. It's not my fault you're dying. When I was doing beta, I was doing it to win. Yeah, I was doing it to win. It's not my fault. No, the mathematics don't add up. It wasn't a it wasn't a fair argument to begin with. I still don't even think if you took our most popular month that three percent would add up to an extra five grand a year. Okay. But despite okay. despite you, that, clown, my point clown, remains the argument was the way that you were framing it was that you weren't including the three percent. The extra three percent. It's not this three percent, it's just an extra five grand. That was where I thought you were manipulating the whole thing. That that three percent is an extra five grand. You were grand. presenting it as, as an no, extra five grand a year, not an extra three percent. I, d I disagree. I disagree. So therefore, not a lie, but a misinterpretation. And a very fair misinterpretation, I think. I disagree. Why? Uh, I, I don't think he balls out loud in that one. Besides Clown, I don't think any of us should even get hung up on that. Between us, I'm not talking about the IMAX thing. I'm saying between us. Because at the end of the day, I was pouring all the fucking views into this thing. And you were trying to rob me, which is... <laughs> yeah, you still haven't apologized to this day. Like a thief. You... You still yeah, haven't you. you still haven't apologized to this day for it, which is kind of fucked up. Oh, I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, well, that's you know I should hold a I'm Alex grudge on you too. Well, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? What? What? Okay, <laughs> I. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Beta. I am quitting for the second time. Peace. Tommy, do you want to be the third host? Do you want to return? No, God, no. It's a wonderful thing, and I, I appreciate Beta, and I appreciate all the fans, especially the ones that stuck with me. But I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to spend my time getting even. I want to, I want to do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of Beta. Uh, we'll see you next time. We don't know who our guest is going to be, but uh, me and Clown will definitely be. We're going to try and do Beta more frequently, right, Keem? It's going to be a regular thing. We'll see you in six months, people.